をここで終わらせる。Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in gaming and entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at some fighters that are super cheap that I found on Steam that are worth taking a look at. On these fighters, I use the Sega Saturn USB gamepad as is perfect in my book for all gaming fighters. I paid roughly as high as $20 and as low as $1.99. Please also understand that prices might be more now as to when I purchased them. They were either on sale during the holidays or a time sale like Humble Bundle. If you wait for the holidays like I do, you can always find them at really great prices. Tekken 7 was released by Bandai Namco in 2017, and I was able to snag it for just $10. Not normally a cheap title yet. I got this game in a Bandai Namco Humble Bundle where you pay for games and that portion of the proceeds go to charities. I love Humble Bundle for their cheap prices and having a portion of the proceeds go to something good. This was my first take at Tekken game since Tekken 3 on original PlayStation. Tekken 7 produces some of the best looking graphics I have seen in a fighting game in some time. Using the Unreal 4 engine, this game plays smooth as silk at 60 frames per second and is just eye candy to the viewer. The gameplay is easy to pick up, but practicing to become a combo artist will take time. <laughs> Battle Fantasia was developed by Arc System Works and was released in 2009 and was on sale for $1.99. This was one of the early fighters Arc System Works developed that dealt with 3D characters in a 2D plane. The game implemented RPG elements that would include damage marked by numbers and a very heavy tech story mode. From the same illustrator as Guilty Gear, the game has a fantasy anime look with fast paced gameplay and remains a huge departure from your average fighting game, but is worth a look. King of the Fighters 13 Steam Edition was available for $4.99 in 2013 and adds online versus fighting to the mix for your Microsoft Windows. The game itself is a visually and 2D animated masterpiece. Taken from the 2010 PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, you can now play at a higher resolution. This game is a blast to play, but I must say that I wish the controls were a little bit closer to Fatal Fury Mark of the Wolves. For some reason, this game feels a bit sluggish and slow in comparison, a little bit tight. With my trusty Sega Saturn USB fighting gamepad, boy, does it help make the experience smoother. As the last 2D animated King of Fighters in HD, this is one to look at. Street Fighter X Tekken was developed and released by Capcom in 2012. Taking a familiar take from Street Fighter 4 from its visuals, the game was plagued with disaster as there was on disc DLC 
that were hidden microtransactions Capcom forced onto the players that really got the fighting community in an uproar. Now, with the game fully patched and changed for the gamers specifically, the game is enjoyable once again. Snagging this at $5.99 from Humble Bundle this year, I was able to experience the game in 4K and pushing the visual fidelities to its max. I had a lot of fun with this game. Tag team battles are more towards the Street Fighter gameplay in this one, and it's a blast playing Tekken characters with Street Fighter style, but with Tekken Tag Tournament conditions. My final game to get at a cheap price is the everlasting Street Fighter V. I purchased this game a few years back on Steam for $20. With Capcom still developing DLC for it at no extra cost, I found so much more replay value than any other fighter. With the original Street Fighter V released in 2016, Arcade came in at 2018 and now Championship Edition came in 2020. Each one of these free updates are from Capcom. I know there are ads everywhere, but the free updates make it way better to play and it's a no-brainer. The game itself is one, if not, my favorite Street Fighter game of all time. Increasing the speed, combos, and playability makes this one of the fighters to contend with, plus it's four plus years old. That's it for me on this episode on some cheap fighting games to look on Steam. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.